A 29 year old mother is dead after she was hit by a car while riding her bike. Caleb Bowling was found by a neighbor after she was struck. Now, somehow she was able to provide vital information that later led to the arrest of the driver. News aides Cody Adams has the story for us. In Indianapolis, the 29 year old Kayla Bowling was found after a hit and run. The accused driver of that vehicle is her ex boyfriend, Kyle Rigdon. Now, Kayla's mother wants to know why. Why? I mean, that's what I want him to look me in the face and tell me why she had to die. Tammy Bowling says her daughter Kayla was her whole world, but on June 1st, her world was shattered. She had a whole bunch of life left in her. <laughs> And now she doesn't have none. Tammy says her daughter had been dating Kyle Rigdon for a few months earlier this year. She says everything seemed great. Well, he made me think he was the greatest person in the world. What does somebody want their kid with? A good person. Tammy says things changed pretty quickly. They come and got me every day for lunch. I seen the control coming. Every time you get in the car, he'd talk about her friends. And it was eating his mind up that she had friends. According to court documents obtained by News 8, Bowling's father told investigators Rigdon showed up at the house with a butcher knife several days before Kayla's death and had slashed her tires. Kayla's mother, Tammy, says that's why Kayla was riding that particular day. And she was on her way to her friend's house, the only place that she goes, the moment she was killed for going to her friend's. Kayla was taken to the hospital where she later died from her injuries, according to IMPD. During the course of the investigation, several people came forward with information to help find the driver. Officials say on June 3rd, Rigdon's boss told investigators that Rigdon said he had hurt his girlfriend and Rigdon asked his boss to lie about what time he got to work the day Kayla was hit. That information played a major role in the arrest of Rigdon. That information was crucial in making the arrest for all the people that did come forward with information, that did speak to our detectives and, and did tell them what they saw that day. Kayla's parents have set up this memorial for her to remember her. Flowers and pictures have been sat here next to the scene where she was found. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Adams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.